The City of Tacoma and Puget Sound Clean Air Agency have failed to consult with the Puyallup Tribe. They have allowed PSE to construct the liquefied natural gas plant without the proper permits. Consultation with the Puyallup Tribe means you don't build unless you consult and come to an agreement with the tribe. The failure to properly consult with the tribe is a violation of federal law. These offenses are compounded by the fact we're now reviewing a draft SEIS that completely fails to examine the true impacts on our tribal members, homelands, treaty protected land and water, and all of the surrounding communities, thereby putting not only our people and environment at great risk, but the surrounding communities as well. Mostly tonight, I'd like to note that your draft SEIS was released on October 8th, the same day that the UN Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change released its urgent wake-up call. This report, prepared by the world's leading climate scientists, says that we must cap the rising global temperature to just 1.5 degrees, and this must happen much faster than previously recognized, and doing that will require, quote, rapid, far-reaching, and unprecedented changes in all aspects of society, end quote. In order to achieve that, global emissions of carbon dioxide have to reach net zero by 2050. As you're probably aware, that's going to be almost impossibly difficult to achieve, and yet our planet's livability depends on that. It means that we've got to stop building new 50-year fossil fuel infrastructure starting like 20 years ago. It means that an environmental impact statement shouldn't compare new fracked fossil gas infrastructure to a no-action alternative, but rather to a do-something-different-please alternative. The impact statement that was put together is looking at global warming potential for methane that is looking at a 100-year average, which really minimizes the impact of methane as a greenhouse gas. Really, it should be looking at the 20-year. And also, it's looking at 2007 rather than the most up-to-date 2016 numbers. We should also be looking at the leakage rates. If you have methane leaking at anywhere between 2 and 3 percent, it is as bad as coal for its global warming potential. Right now, they're using numbers coming out of BC of 0.4. Everything that I've seen and all of the emissions data that I have used runs from about 1.9 percent leakage rate up to as high as 17 percent leakage rate. Their leakage rates are not reasonable. My name is Jamie Margolin. I'm 16 years old. I'm a junior in high school and I am taking time out of school and homework, not because I am paid to do so or because I have to be here, but because my life depends on it. The first step to getting out of a hole is to stop digging. And in terms of climate, it means to stop digging for fossil fuels. Stop burning fossil fuels, whether it be coal, oil, or this disgusting earth warming frat gas that people are claiming to be clean, even though it's the same old pollution. This coral that I hold before you cannot speak, nor can it compete with the fossil fuel industry. Its fate and the fate of one quarter of all the ocean fish species who depend on the coral is in your hands. And what about the animals that depend on these fish species? What about the children who are yet to be born? Are we okay with telling them that we are willing to face disaster the likes of which humanity has never seen so that Puget Sound Energy can make money, I implore your agency to say no. Earlier this month, the United Nations International Climate Conference released their latest report, and it comes as no surprise that what they said was, catastrophic climate change is coming much faster than we thought. They gave us a little over 10 years to radically redefine our economy. Now the good news was that they told us it was no longer a challenge of physics or chemistry. We figured that part out. We have the technology to change course. But the big question mark they left for us is do we have the political will to make those changes? Tonight, you have heard from tribal members, clergy members, scientists, professors, and doctors all opposed to the LNG project. Only labor reps and paid industry talking heads have supported it. When you know better, you do better. I have two words for the Puget Sound Clean Air Agency. Do better.